Hey yo! No, that's not how I usually start this, is it? Yo, 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 what is cracking my Saiyan army? It is your boy, Super Saiyan Main Train, back again with another YouTube video. Let me just start off by saying the last six or seven weeks of training have been going unreal. And it honestly blows my mind. I did not think that fitness would not only come back as fast as it has, but I would build upon that fitness. And the 20 miler, which I'm about to talk to you guys about, is great proof of that. When I ran this 20 miler, it was last Monday. Today is Monday, so it's been exactly a week uh, since I've run it. And I went out to the Centricare Health Plaza out in St. Cloud. There's a, a loop that goes around the, the health center. And I just did, as monotonous as it sounds, one mile repeat loops for 20 miles. And it went fantastically well. To put it into perspective, about two months ago, I ran the Army 10 mile in 59.10, which is maybe, uh, if I remember correctly, about 5.55 per mile pace. Uh, actually, I think it'd be slower. 5.56 or seven, something like that. It was not a great time, but considering that I'd only been running for uh, a couple of weeks. I was happy with it, right? This 20 miler, I ended up running 155.05, which is 545 per mile, and the 10 mile splits were 57.40 and 57.20 about. And honestly, it completely blows my mind that that even happened because, like I said, a couple months ago I ran a 59.10, and not only did I do that twice, but I took off about a minute and a half average which is fucking unreal honestly i can't believe it happened i'll read you off my splits just because i know some people like that kind of thing so they went as such 558 542 541 47 44 47 47 42 47 43 44 43 42 44 46 45 44 45, 47, and 41 as my last mile. And the cool thing about this workout was the entire time my lungs never really felt like they were working past their maximum capacity, which they really couldn't be for a 20 mile long run, to be honest with you. Um, it felt actually kind of comfortable. And I know what you're thinking, 545 average should not feel comfortable. Um, and that's not what I mean. Like it didn't feel like an easy run. I could tell that it was a piece of work and I was working pretty hard, especially the last three or four miles. What I mean is, it felt like an effort that I could sustain for a marathon. If I were to take the energy gel card pouches and be tapered, which would be a pretty awesome, <laughs> a pretty awesome pace for the marathon. I think it would average out at about 2.30 or so, um, which for honestly doing half marathon or marathon training for the first time, I think is pretty cool. So that that's a pretty reassuring thing moving into the half marathon that I will be doing on January 20th at Carlsbad. What's also really reassuring is I didn't really check my pace as I was running this until I got to about mile 10. And uh, I checked my, my pace and my split at mile 10. And like I said, it was about 57, 30 or 40, something like that. And I was like, holy shit. This is cool because I thought I was running about 5.55 to 6 minutes per mile, which was the goal for this workout, and that's what it felt like, but it actually ended up being 5.45, which is reassuring to me because that means that I didn't push the pace, I wasn't reaching for something that I can't achieve, and that the workouts that I've been doing have been going well. The weather for this workout wasn't completely ideal conditions either. Uh, there were about 15 mile per hour winds, and granted I was on a loop, so I had the wind at my back for about half of the mile, but the other half of the mile I had it against my face. Um, so I'm not gonna say this added or took off time, but it definitely made it a little bit mentally tougher. So that's something to think about. It was also cold, I think temperature was about five or 10 degrees, which definitely helped me stay cool, which is helpful. Uh, but it can also stiffen the legs a little bit. So take that as you will. I just wanted to explain the workout to you. The week before I did this 20 miler, I did 18 at 554. So it's really cool to see that much of a jump even within the last, the last week. <laughs> I don't know how it happened and I'm honestly mind blown. The rest of the week I took pretty easy and Friday, uh, last Friday, today is the 26th, Monday, um, I did a, a fartlek workout which was 10 by one minute on, two minute float. And what I mean by float is I wasn't just piss walking, like a jog so slow that you might as well be walking. It's a recovery that 
should not let you fully recover from the the speed you were doing. So the one minute on, I was averaging about 450 to five minute pace, and the floats I averaged between 630 to 640, and it ended up being a half hour total workout. It's not meant to be a barn burner. It was something to focus on my speed a little bit, and I think it accomplished that. Um, one thing I could, <laughs> one thing I definitely pulled away from that is that my foot speed is not exactly where it should be. Uh, I've definitely been slacking on strides a little bit. It's something I should start doing more, and I definitely am going to be doing more. Uh, I actually did six strides yesterday uh, because that was a little bit of an eye opener of how much I'm kind of lacking in the department. I'm not a very naturally fast guy to begin with, so I should be doing a little bit more to work on that, to be honest. But that workout went well. Uh, it felt good. It ended up being a 16 mile day. And the next couple days after that, I just kind of, uh, I got some nice aerobic runs in, a couple of 16 milers to round off the week to 115 miles. Lastly, I just completed my first ever 400 mile month, which is pretty cool. I've had a couple of weeks where I've hit 100 before. Uh, I've even hit 100 three weeks in a row. But this is the first time that I averaged 100 for an entire month and I'm very, very grateful, especially bouncing back from the injury that I had, to be able to do that. And I, I think that's been the difference maker for me to see any sort of improvement. So that's something to think about. If you want my personal opinion on what best helps you to improve, uh, it's going to be hard long runs, without a doubt in my mind. What I felt has pushed me the farthest out of any workout I've ever done. It's never been on the track, especially if you're a 5K, 10K guy. The most work you can ever put into yourself is a good hard long run. At least from my perspective, it's helped me out a shit ton and it could help you out too. What can you expect from me in the next couple of weeks? I have a 5K coming up on December 8th at Mankato. It's the preseason opener. It's on an indoor track and it's had, it has a history of guys being pretty quick. Uh, I think last year there were the, the, the winning time was 14.30 and there was a handful of guys who went under 15 minutes, which is perfect for me because I want to break 15 minutes in the 5K finally. I think at the end of outdoor track last year, I was definitely fit enough to do it, but I never really got the chance. I'm not quite up to marks in the speed department right now. I haven't really been doing speed workouts, um, but I think by strength alone, I should be fit enough to hopefully throw down a sub 15 5k so that's the goal in preparation for that the next two weeks i'm going to be backing down my mileage just a touch i will average uh 70 to 80 per week and i'm going to take one day off every week so that'll be 70 to 80 in six days the day off is just to let my legs rest a little bit so that i can feel good for this 5k and i'm going to be doing a little more track work so today for example i'm going to be doing some 800 meter uh repeats probably six to eight of them at uh probably about 5k or maybe a little bit slower than 5k pace just so that I can get into that groove of um, how fast that's going to feel because I'm definitely not completely used to that speed anymore and then Friday or Saturday I'm going to do a 200 um, cut down workout starting at 39 to 40 and then hopefully getting down to a 30 or 31 uh, knock on knock on wood <laughs> I don't know if I'm even fast enough to run a 30. That's how slow I am, guys, without a doubt. You don't even get it. <laughs> it's bad. And the week after that, I'll just chill and hopefully run a PR in the 5K. That's kind of where I'm at with my training. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening and whatnot. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you want to watch my training happen live, day by day, check out my link in the description. Uh, I think it's called Running to Win. Dot com. I have a, it's it's pretty cool. I follow a couple people on there. You can follow me. It's a fun little community. And that wraps it up. So until uh, my next episode on Super Saiyan Main Train, peace out, my dudes. <laughs>